Okay, the intention of today's lesson is to bring some spontaneity to painting, which I felt um, I was struggling with on Tuesday. It felt a little too tight. So I'm gonna be working with the jelly plate. I call this print painting. And I'm going to be rolling ink on here and I'm going to do several different prints, some on print paper. And I also want to do some on canvas board. You can also use canvas paper. Um, so I'm going to get started. And what I've done here is I've got my jelly plate on a piece of palette paper. And then I made this, I've, I've blocked this off because I'm going to be repeat printing and I want to line my paper up um, evenly each time. So. That's why that whole thing is there. Okay, I am going to start with this manganese blue, which is somewhat transparent. And I'm going to work quickly because it's hot today. So again, when rolling your ink, I go back and forth one direction, then the other direction. What I'm trying to do is get an even distribution of paint. Now, there's leftover paint on my brayer, so I just roll that off on a sheet of paper to the side. Oftentimes, what ends up on this paper looks really fabulous and becomes another little painting. Okay, so the goal is to create structure in a spontaneous way. There's different ways of doing that. I'm going to use this textury bristly brush just to pull some of that paint off. I can make some lines with my palette knife. I'm going to keep this kind of simple. Let's see what else. Just going to put a, remove some paint there and create a shape. Okay, I'm going to pull my first print on this canvas board to press down kind of firmly. All right, still have ink left. Here's what this looks like. Now, I'm gonna take a damp brush and if I touch that with some water, I can move, I can move my paint around. So I've got, got my structure going. And of course, I've got this frame, so I'm going to bring some of my paint to the outer edges. I'm starting with the print to get a spontaneous structure. Now I'm adding more of that manganese. All right, now I'm going to come back and I'm going to paint on here with another color and then I'm going to print again. So the colors, now I'm gonna go with these orangey colors. and fill in different areas. Okay. So what's nice about the jelly plate is there's a smoothness to it. My, my paint marks flow. Okay, now I could do a little more um, scraffito in there if I want. Hook this print. Okay, same thing, lining it up. Pressing down firmly. Okay, not that much of the paint. Oh, you know what? I did it upside down. Ha! <laughs> okay, so these things happen. Now I can come in with my brush and fill in. Let's 
some of those shapes. All right, now I'm going to go another color. I'm going to do a big glob right there with my angled palette knife. Again, lining it up. Okay, so it's gonna come out globier over here. If I want more precision, I can come and work on the canvas again. I can do some scraping. I want a sharper edge. But this is already way more satisfying than what I was doing on Tuesday. Okay, let's see. I think I'm gonna bring another. color in. I'm going to go with some Prussian blue over here. I'm going to remove some paint with a Q-tip. So that's another way of working into the surface, lining it up. Okay, this is what I have thus far. So at this point, what's nice is I've got a loose structure and then I can keep printing if I want, or I can say, no, I'm ready to just go right to this piece right here, take it away from pr uh, printmaking and just go directly into painting. I think it would be fun to have a number of these going. So I'm gonna do some more on this. I'm gonna set this aside. There's definitely more work I can do on that, on canvas. Now I'm gonna do some on paper. I don't know how much ink is left here because it's so dry. I'm gonna see if I can pull some of that off. That's all that's left. Okay, um, I'm gonna to go to another color, a more neutral color. Got a hair in there. Okay. See if I can create a more organic structure. I'm going to use this scrub brush as my painting implement. Okay, so there, there's my base structure. I can do more printing on here. And then I can come back and do more painting. Okay, what color? Sort of let these colors blend together. So I can see the lines where I pulled my print so I can work, I still have my guide, I can work more colors in there. And I picked a movement as my structure. Okay, lining it up again.
okay? Different, different feeling in terms of the colors, right? Completely different feeling. So you can pick different color groups and then start pulling prints that way. I'm gonna do one more on here. There's probably not much ink. Yeah, there's not much, but there's enough of a movement. I could build another composition with that. And then if I wanna come back and add more colors to that, I can. So I'm going to do that now with some red. So I've put my angled palette knife in some red paint and I'm going to make some finer marks. Just little accents of color there. So using the side of the palette knife as a painting tool. Still going with the directional, the direction of that line that I initially made. Okay, and then I wanted to show you one other idea. So a couple of students said, my hands aren't steady. I can't draw a straight line. I'm using a ruler. Well, that's fine, but this might be more exciting. I'm gonna take a piece of cardboard. I'm gonna dip this in uh, liquid acrylic paint and I'm gonna do some line work that way. Bring my palette over. Okay, so the feather also works really well, but what if you want really much more precise? Okay, testing it over here. Going to come in here. So I'm printing and stamping and painting. And I've not used the brush a whole lot today. So I think before on Tuesday, I have the structure going first. This way I'm putting the structure in, I mean, it's there with these fine lines, but now I'm accenting it at the end. So different ways of working. And working on this roll off paper, I mean, Sometimes that's my favorite thing. You could add a couple more different colors of paint, like an orange or a red, and that movement would be complete. So this also gets you making, with the printing, you're making several paintings at the same time, maybe with the same color palette. I think of it as a conversation going on between these three, these three pictures here. 